last night Halloween. Mm-hmm. My, yeah, last night was Halloween. Mm-hmm. My favorite night of the year. I love to Halloween. St- to stay in, <laughs> watch movies, and not do anything. <laughs> I watched <laughs> Nigel Bach uh, Trilogy Night. Oh, so okay. I, I watched all of Nigel Bach's movies. All most the Bad of them, Ben movies. All yeah. the Bad Ben movies. I got through like six. So that was my whole day was scary. And we jumped a couple of times at Bad Ben. And he's good at, you know, jumping out and there's a clown face. So right. that's fun. But I didn't buy any candy because there's a pandemic. Yeah, right. There shouldn't be people, it shouldn't be strangers coming to your door and where you live, nobody wears any masks. So you don't want somebody with no mask and their whole family that has no mask coming to your door and being like, hi, here's COVID. (laughs) Trick or treat. So last year it was not COVID and I still didn't hand out candy. What I do is I turn off all the lights and I hide. Yeah. Because... You know, that's the thing I don't like about Halloween. You're going to come to my house and want me to give you my candy? No. That's not cool. That's my candy. <laughs> well, that's kind of what Halloween is. I mean, a lot of people do like to participate. But the, the point is, if I'm a mom and I'm driving around or walking around with my kids and everyone's in costume, it's obvious what houses are are celebrating Mm -hmm. they're all lit up the porch lights on the lights in the house are on there's decorations sometimes the door is even open and just the screen door is there it's really obvious which houses are participating in halloween and happy to to see your costume and give you candy it's also equally as obvious which houses are basically telling you f leave us alone we have no interest go away i live at the end of the road so you have to walk to my house from all the other houses it's not real close so Mm. i had no lights on no lights in in the front of the house no porch lights no lights on inside the house it was completely dark because i I had no candy i mean if you wanted candy i'm sorry i got none i didn't even buy any so at at some point during my nigel bach uh marathon (laughs) i was watching all the nigel bach movies in the dark by the way because Uh i didn't want anybody to see because you were hiding from the neighbors Uh uh-huh right so these i don't know four families i guess i i sent you the video it looked like four different families walking around the neighborhood walk up to my door and not they didn't hit the doorbell once they hit the door doorbell like 12 times. Yeah, 12. I counted 12 times. There's one. There's two. Go ahead. I so that's one kid hitting the oh, doorbell. Here, here comes another kid. There's my dogs. <laughs> He's still ringing the doorbell. Still ringing the doorbell. Oh, here. Yep, there's another kid. And then, a, and then an adult walks up, and the adult starts ringing the door, doorbell. Is is that not the most insane thing ever? It's it's so insane. It just shows you know this is people are stupid. Like I, I don't understand how adults would bring children up to a house that's completely pitch black and ring the doorbell twelve times when it's dark and you can hear the dogs going insane. And, yeah, no, they're obviously not home. Here, here's what I say. Here's what you should have done. This is the one and only time. I give you permission to come to the door completely naked. (laughs) No towel, nothing, just naked, and open the door and go, what? (laughs) And I guarantee if I did that, those kids would never ring another doorbell their (laughs) whole life. (laughs) Be in therapy from that point on, going, oh, oh, I fear doors. (laughs) That's what I would have done. I would have taken my clothes off. I would have made sure my boyfriend was also naked and we both would have come to the door and just screamed, what? <laughs> Holding a cat in each hand. Right? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm sitting there going, what the hell are they doing? If you're a parent, you go, stop it. Hey, little girl, stop it. Only ring once. They don't come to the door. We move. Did they do that to all the homes in the neighborhood? They had to. It, the bizarre thing was that after the kids kept ringing the doorbell, the mom finally, I saw in the video, the mom finally stopped one of the kids from ringing the doorbell. And then the dad comes over and he starts ringing the doorbell. It's right. like, first of all, th- I hate that man thing that like, I do that. Like if I'm if I'm at an elevator and I push the elevator button and it's obviously on, a man will walk up 
and push the elevator button again like oh i'm i'm too fragile to push an elevator button by myself thank god you came you came by mr man it's like don't you see the light on don't you see that i've already pushed the the button like what don't you know how elevators work same thing here with your doorbell like mm-hmm. the woman had pushed it a bunch of times Three different kids push the doorbell. At that point, you were up to nine. And then the man walks up and hits your doorbell three more times. I blame Disney because I think every guy in the, in the back of his mind thinks all women are looking for the knight in shining armor to come and fix things and make so, things better. So, so you were gonna, you were gonna, he he was gonna make candy appear because yeah. he has a penis he, he, <laughs> somehow because he could hit the button a little bit different than the other uh-huh. people hit the button, and maybe if he hit it squarely in the middle, then apparently I would show up and give them my candy. I'm so mad that you didn't call me while that was happening. I would have said, "Take your clothes off now. Get completely naked. Grab a cat. Grab a cat. Grab both cats." <laughs> And open that door and just scream, <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no candy here. I've eaten <laughs> it all. You're not supposed to be trick-or-treating. It's COVID. And then turn around, bend over, and drop a cat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and how many masks did you see out of that whole crowd? Zero. Not and that's the crazy one. thing. Even the kids were in costume and they ha- they didn't even have costumes with masks. They were wearing like cowboy hats and one of them had like some stupid thing coming out of her head. But not one mask. Not one mask and, going door to door. And you can't tell me that's a family that all lives together in the same house. Those are friends of friends that care that are hanging around each other, not six feet, not wearing masks. That right there is the reason why we're going to have Songbird and the COVID's going to be around. <laughs> until 2024 right there yeah it's we- i gotta tell you it's weird because last night uh halloween halloween night in new york city usually it is party city because not only do i live in a neighborhood where there's a lot of families and you see a lot of kids usually trick-or-treating but i also live near three different big dorms one nyu dorm uh one baruch college dorm and one school of visual arts dorm and the kids come out and they party like every single year. There's kids out there in costumes and they're drunk and they're partying on their roofs. They're par- Last night we looked out the window. It was dead. It was like the beginning really? of the pandemic. The streets were em- 11 o'clock at night. The streets were empty. It was so bizarre. Like Joe, my boyfriend, Joe, he even said, like, come to the window, come to the window. I was like, what, what? Thinking like (laughs) someone's naked or something exciting to see. He's like, look. And I mean, there were hardly any cars. There was nobody out there. It was, I mean, talk about creepy Halloween. That was really surprising. Yeah. Nobody came to your house, huh? No, well, my building is very organized. What they do is they usually they usually do this thing. I think I've told you this before. They usually do this thing where if you want to participate in Halloween, they give you streamers to hang on your door. So that way, when the kids come around, it's like Passover. They go from door to door and they see the ones that have the streamers are the ones that are doors you can knock on. Uh, this year, an email went around and said, no trick-or-treating allowed, but the building will have... They had these big, oh, they were so cute, actually. They had these big giant bags that looked like pumpkins, but they were bags instead of like a plastic pumpkin. Mm. It was really cute. Uh, And they were full of candy and and toys and all kinds of things. And they said, if you're trick-or-treating or if you want your kid to have something, uh, come to the front desk. We will be social social distancing, but handing you a bag of goodies and treats. Mm -hmm. So they did have stuff for the kids in the building, at least. Well, because they probably charge you uh, for maintenance, and that includes Halloween candy. I paid for that. Yeah, I I paid. (laughs) I paid about $800 this month for that candy. (laughs) You should have walked down there and went, I'm taking my bag. I bet there was an iPad in there. (laughs) I've taken one bag for me and one for my boyfriend, Joe. 